Hello and welcome to my film about the refurbishment of the water tank on my narrowboat. This is the crouch area. I'd like to thank anybody who has watched the, any of my films. People that are watching it now, much appreciated. And anybody who has subscribed or commented on my YouTube channel. So this is the well deck. I've taken away the bits of wood for the stove, folded up the table and cleaned the area of muck that was underneath the red matting. Right, now it's time to tackle the water tank. That means unscrewing the bolts holding the top of the water tank in place, then removing the lid which I suspect is held down with a kind of rubber sealant um, a bit like silicon but it's kind of rubber con consistency and seeing how much water's in the tank emptying it out getting rid of the rust letting it dry out and then treating it appropriately with a water tank treatment paint so the first job is going to be removing the screws. I had never looked inside the water tank which actually is made of the steel forming the shell of the boat. Some water tanks on narrow boats may be stainless steel so a separate tank underneath the deck at the front of the boat usually or plastic. It wasn't too hard to get the screws off and undone on the water tank. They were brass covered in paint so that needed some scraping off to get the slots clear so I could get a big screwdriver in them and with the help of a wrench they were easily undone. So it's time to remove the screws. I better get on with it. I'm told by an engineer that they recommend brass screws because if they do seize up they're not hard to remove by drilling out with a drill and can easily be replaced whereas the hatch over the bow thruster tube was held by steel screws which had all rusted very nicely in place and even with an extraction kit, a screw instruction kit, I couldn't remove them. So, first screw out when it wants to come. You probably can just see the remains of a kind of rubbery stuff that's been sealing screw threads and actually sealing round the edge there of the lid over the water tank. Right, I shall just go and remove all the screws. So whilst, um, whilst the deck might look very nice, painted in rattle red paint, the thing is there is paint down the slots here, down the the kind of gap between the panel lid and the deck which needs removing so maybe in with the sharp knife blade let's have a look <clears throat> certainly stuck down with some adhesive or rubber solution this might take a bit of scraping out, I suspect. Absolutely. 
Unfortunately, of course, at the same time I'm scraping, I'm also removing the paint around the edge. Excuse my uh, puffing and panting at this. This is uh, a mixture of paint and I'm not sure whether it's Sikaflex or rubber gutter paint or what it is. Right, so I've got some old, some old uh, scrapers, and I'm just gonna have to work my way around the edge, I think, like this. I'm gonna remove this sealant which is holding the, the lid down, so. I think this is gonna be the only way to do it. I could try getting the trusty chisel in and levering, but uh, not really. I'm wanting to move, so nothing for it, but this and maybe the old knife again. Anyway, we'll cut back in when I've got the lid loose. Right, I've used the scraper a bit, way, a bit of the way around put the chisel in and I'm just levering away and I think this might come so we'll soon find out what lies beneath or maybe not oh, definitely some rubber kind of sealant if I pull this bit off here this is the kind of stuff which is holding it down. I think I better get some rubber gloves on because it feels a bit tacky but this is some black sealant which is kind of squeezed in tight in the gap rather than using a sticky back tape like you might put round the weed hatch of your boat. So we're about to go in and I shall just put on some rubber gloves. Right, let's, uh, let's try a bit of lifting. Oh, lovely. Very good. Water, water everywhere, not a drop to drink. Oh, certainly wouldn't be drinking that stagnant water in a hurry. Lovely. Very nice. And not bad, really, considering. Let me just get this lid out of the way and then you can have a look inside. So, lid of water tank. Actually, the coating on it seems in pretty good condition. There's a few rusticles bits of rust but um, really there's a few bits of water in there so I can still flush the toilet for a few minutes on the boat uh, doesn't look at all bad to me I just wish I knew what coating they used whether that is an epoxy paint or whether it's a water tap treatment paint, but it looks in pretty good condition. But there are some rusty bits. Bits of the corner down there when we spin round and have a look. That's rusty down there. 
But I dare say when you're draining the water tank in winter you'll never empty all the water and then you kind of get water air mixture and that's where rust occurs. The pipe there, which I've not just lost, sorry, the pipe which I wonder why it doesn't show up on the goers there. There we are. That's the pipe taking the water to the water pump. So interesting, part way down the boat, I suppose if the boat was lovering the water. Um, but I don't think you're ever going to get all this water out of here merely by running the water pump. There'll always be some sat here. So not too bad down there. And the other corner over here. A bit of rust showing up in the corner. Not sure what the underside of the lid looks like. Let's just have a look without dropping the camera in. Well, the underside doesn't look too bad, does it? No, it doesn't. Not there anyway. So, let's get this water out. And then we can do a bit of scraping and allow the area to dry. The buzzing noise you can hear is the water pump. I've opened the tap on the kitchen sink and the water pump is sucking water through this pipe here and then sending it down the boat to the kitchen sink tap. I cannot, using this method, get all the water out. So after I've done this, and got it to the level of the bottom of the pipe in the water tank I will have to use my vax machine to suck the rest of the water out. So with the water tank drained, the last bit I needed to use the vax machine to suck it out and it's going to take a few days for the water tank to dry out before I can start scrubbing it down I think. Um, I'm just scraping off some of this kind of rubber sealant round the edge of the hatch. This is the hatch over the water tank and uh, it's like rubber stuff. In fact you can almost stretch it like rubber. If you pull it it just kind of stretches like rubber. Interesting stuff. I'm not sure what they've used but it's um, still kind of slightly tacky and I reckon it was put in about 2016 and it's now 2021 so been there for about four or five years but what I'm doing is just using my trusty old chisel here and scraping away this rubber down the edge I won't say rubber the sealant is light rubber down the edge just get it off and then I shall leave it a few days for the water tank to dry out and come back to the the water tank again. Okay. Anyway, back to the water tank. Um, you can just hear in the background those two kind of micro lights, kind of with a propeller and a uh, kind of kite above them. Anyway, back to scraping the water tank. So it's always nice being inside a water tank. Um, lovely. This water tank, as I said before, isn't too bad. There's some rusty bits up in the corner. That's the pipe again that takes water out of the tank to the water pump with an isolation valve just the other side of this wall here. Um, I'm using a 
combination of things. I've got a scraper brush and I've got a little old kind of putty knife um, or scraper but um, I've just been disconnecting the water filter before the pump because there's water in this pipe and this area keeps being a bit wet here so I've, I've just disconnected that on the other side of the wall where the water pump is and uh, hopefully this will dry out a bit more now and there won't be water kind of slowly dribbling down this pipe here back into the tank. This finish on the bottom is not good, there's some nice um, areas but I don't know what somebody's put on top of here. Um, it was bubbly and when I scrape it it kind of goes into these little pits so I really don't know what um, what they use. I think something different or else somebody just poured a load of stuff in here and it never set properly. Uh, but anyway, I shall get back to my scraping. Well I think the water tank's looking better. Um, I've used the wire brush, I've used my scraper. I've just been vacuuming the flakes of dust out of here. But um, I think it's looking better than it was and it is drying out this last bit of dampness that was round where the water takeoff is for the boat from that tube there. So leave it to dry out a bit more and give it another scrape. So I've painted the rusty bits of the steel with Furtan. I lightly dampened the area first before using a brush to apply the Furtan. It's probably going to take at least two days to go off. Actually, when I look through the camera here, you can see the rusty bits are far more clearly than what you can when you're inside the compartment. Probably some bits of mist. Anyway, there's quite a strong whiff in there, so you don't want to be breathing in whatever vapours they are. Although it says it's non-toxic, but um, I'm going to leave that to go off for at least 48 hours. So today I've gone and washed down the water tank with some cold water and a sponge to take off the excess fur tan and kind of get a, a black powdery residue coming away when you do that, I believe. Right, I'm uh, going to prepare the two pack paint for painting the water tank and um, I've got a couple of face masks on and some goggles and then I'll be putting on some rubber gloves so uh, let's hope it goes all right I think it's a very nice cream colour but let's just have a look in the water tank again before I paint it. This is the stuff I'm using for painting the water tank the cream colour and then the kind of agent that makes it go off, curing agent. And as we go into the water tank it is currently a very nice dark black colour. I am painting over bitumen but the place I bought the epoxy paint from said you could use this paint over bitumen so we'll see how we go. Worst case scenario is I dare say I have to scrape it all off again, which I don't really fancy, but hey ho, I'm going to go in and paint. So that's the underside of the lid of the water tank that's been painted one coat of the hemp uh, dur, and that is the water tank which again has been white painted one coat. It's um, still tacky, it's 
just about half past five-ish and I think I finished painting about three o'clock so it's still tacky so I'm going to leave the lid off and it drying. It's going to need at least another coat, at least, but for now that is the water tank painted. One coat. The epoxy paint first coat took seven days before I could apply the second coat and then the second coat took another seven days before I could even consider filling the water tank with water again. So the um, boat domestic water tank I have painted a couple of coats I think it could have done with a third coat really but I'll show you the water tank mostly full of water in uh, in a minute but I've just been putting some weed hatch tape round the inside lid of the water tank to form a watertight seal so here you can see the lid of the water tank and I have been using weed hatch tape to put round it, comes in a big roll, you can buy it from places like Midland, Chandler's, I dare say other places are available, but that's what I've used. So I'm just going to take you down to the water tank and you can have a look at that just before I replace this lid. A reminder of what the water tank looked like before it was painted. So here's the water tank, um, I wouldn't stand on the cardboard, I think you'd fall into it and then you'd feel like you're in a very small swimming pool, but if I take the cardboard away you can see that we've got the water tank full of water, it's a nice white colour as that epoxy paints but I am getting a few rusty patches already. I'm sorry about the reflections of the sunlight, it's a very sunny day today. But if I go round you can just make out where there's some rusticles starting again which is a bit disappointing because I dare say this winter I'll have to start painting the water tank again. But hey ho, such is life. So that's the water tank and I shall put the hatch on and fasten down the brass screws and uh, call it a day or call it a job for the moment. Thank you very much for watching. Again I would like to thank anybody who has watched any of my films and anybody who stayed with this film right to the end. Just a series of pictures now just going over the stages that were involved in cleaning um, and inspecting and painting the water tank on my narrowboat which is made up of the base of the narrowboat, the sides and the floor of the cratch area. This is called an integral water tank and does need treatment every few years as it will slowly get rusty um, with use. So I'd like to say cheerio for now. Um, please have a look at some of my other YouTube videos. I hope you find some of them of interest to yourself. I did have another problem this year with the bow thruster tube area which is the hatch just in front of the water tank hatch. So a couple of jobs needed to be fixed just in the crash area of the narrowboat so far in uh, 2021. Anyway, cheerio and thank you very much for watching.